check on the report on the Select Committee on County Publics and Investment Committee. The Auditor General for the financial statement for the following counties, water service providers for the financial year 2018, 2019, and 2020-2021. These counties that have already been listed by the mover of this motion, I will restrict myself to the observations that we made during the inquiry into this, um, the way these counties manage their water resources. Mr. Speaker, one of the biggest problems is that a lot of these counties, the companies, the water companies were being run by the board without the input of the county governors. In fact, in most cases, the county governors appeared before our committee and they raised concern as to why they were taking off and responding to issues which they really did not understand. These water companies were being run autonomously by the board and it brought in a lot of conflict on how they can be able to manage the resources. Yes, the CCM in charge of water and sanitation for each of the counties were represented in those boards and they worked tirelessly to be able to set up uh, budgets that can be able to allow them run these water companies. But the problem has already been explained by my colleague, had to do with an issue where you find in Bungoma and Transoya counties, there's one water company. You go to Kisi and Yamira, there's one water company. So it brings in the issues of autonomy on which county can be able to generate more resources. So when we looked at that, our committee highly recommended that each of the 47 county governments have their own water companies. We also had a big issue looking at the issues of regional water bodies. The constitution is quite clear in terms of water and sanitation. Water and sanitation are devolved to the county governments. However, if you look at the third schedule of the constitution, the national government also has a role to play when it comes to the issue of protecting um, water sources, securing sufficient re residual water, hydraulic uh, engineering, and safety of dams. When we sit in this house, Mr. Speaker, we also confuse the whole process because I remember there was, during the time when we were interrogating these counties on how they are managing their water resources, there was a water act which was being amended. And if you notice, the proponent of that water act were moving away all the functions of managing even local companies to the national government. So that brought in a huge conflict. And I think it's about time that all of us now look at how we can be able to really fight for devolution. One of the key recommendations of our committee was that each of the 47 counties I've, I've got to look at their resources so that we can avoid this non-revenue water. They look at what they need from these regional bodies, but ultimately work towards managing their own resources. My colleague has already elaborated clearly on the losses that each of these companies were getting. There was a lot of unaccounted for water, and this unaccounted for water came in as a result of dilapidated infrastructure because there's so many leakages, so many leakages. So it, when you come to a situation where two counties share one company and then water is bought from another company or, or from another county, by the time the water gets there, if you calculate how much was sold to those companies versus how much they generate after they sell the company, the water, you realize that there are so much losses, which also led to a lot of financial mismanagement. When we are looking at the case of Nairobi, Mr. Speaker, it was very difficult to be able to tell how much was that company earning. In fact, some of these companies ended up just being, you know, sort of like um, corruptions dens, where people who work in these companies end up just setting their side water companies, buying water bowsers so that they can be able to sell because the mismanagement in the companies that were running water services was so high such that it was impossible to be able to ensure sufficient water supply. 
And this is a function of the national government. The gov national government has got to ensure that there is a sufficient sustainability of water supply.